when people come to real estate, they feel like they're flipping to a completely different person. No, you're the same person. You just keep growing, right? If someone's starting off and wanting to take advantage of social media, real estate, and in terms of even just start to not just open up account, but think about where you want to take your account to be is, is go back to yourself, ask yourself questions about, you know, what are your goals? What are your business goals? Who are you looking to connect with? You can put one YouTube video on the internet and get a hundred thousand, a million or millions of views with it. Well, I mean, if you really think about it, attention is a currency for wealthy people, because if you don't have enough attention, you cannot become wealthy because how do wealthy people become wealthy? They help a lot of people get what they want. <laughs> What's going on guys? Today's guest is Tharmela. She's a good friend of mine. She has almost 40 agents with her uh, team here with the Wolfpack organization. But today we're going to be talking about digital marketing, social media marketing, and even KV Core. So a lot of agents understand that they need to generate leads, traditional ways, modern ways, the fastest way to scale a business with the lowest risk and the highest scalability is social media. And we're going to talk about KV Core. She's a KV Core expert. We're going to talk about her, uh, her course and her system that you guys can hire her to do a done for you one-stop shop if you're interested in that. But if not, she's going to give you some really good information as far as tips, what you can do with your, within your own business. But Tharmela, I'm excited to get you on here and talk about how you've been doing this for 10 years now. And uh, you've been taking on, what, a couple hundred accounts a year where you help them get their social media up and launch it and advise them. But let's kind of dig into how you got started into social media and then transition into kind of so how someone would reach out to you and kind of where they're at in their mindset and how they're starting in their social media journey, how you can help them. And let's talk about some of those main things that we're going to go into uh, as far as social media strategies. But uh, the mic awesome. is yours. Thank you so much yeah, you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. First of all, thank you for having me. And I'm excited to be here. And I, I love your audience and all the type of content that you put out. So, you know, for me, digital marketing was one of those things that I originally actually kind of going back a little bit further. When I was in university, I'm actually an art student and a business management student. I wanted to run art galleries and create art and do that kind of stuff. And then it's so Primarily, I started working for a not-for-profit, and that was kind of where my passion was. And I worked doing a little bit of marketing, but promoting art shows and exhibitions and, and galleries and museums and work done by artists. And that was kind of where my niche was at. And, and I was an artist myself, so I spoke that language. And if you ever worked for artists, you know, they, they were very particular. So I, I worked for not-for-profit and then I started to work. I'm actually based here in Toronto. And so I started working for the government. And for the past 10 years, uh, over a decade, I worked for the government, writing over 200 marketing plans a year for special events, from small events to massive events, over 100,000 people attending. Um, to working with artists that were uh, for performance art, performative artists like singers, to artists who were putting on, you know, banners and murals and paintings, and and I I did all of that, and it was it was really impactful for me, and I loved it, and I remember I always wanted to be an artist, but when I started to plan my own events or put together or promote my own events, I realized, wow, I, I love the aspect of getting it out to people. I'm a people person. I love talking to people. I love problem solving and promoting and getting the message out became a passion for me. And so I started working in marketing. I was a marketing coordinator then became a consultant and I started to advise people. And I used to manage over 12 social media accounts on a daily basis for the government. And it was one of those things that I did. And I and I loved it. It was challenging and working with so many different people, stakeholders with their own visions and goals. And then you have to kind of take their messaging, craft it differently to make it sense for their audience and get it out. And it was kind of a specialty in that. And I and I love doing that. But I realized, like, um, you know, watching people like you and so many others on YouTube where, you know, I, I wanted to make a greater impact and and through going through a, you know an agency is great but also the effort that that, uh, that I'm putting in nine to five with a, with a capped salary I'm not going to go anywhere with that right um, and the reach was going to be so small to uh, to an office space and I felt and I always knew that I had uh, a deep passion and skill set that that I needed to grow and also challenge myself so that's how I got into the real estate space and uh, and this brokerage model the moment I heard it it, it made all the sense because I could take what I've always been doing that's another thing right when people come to real estate, they feel like they're they're flipping to a completely different person. No, you're the same person. You just keep growing, right? And so I took all those skill sets and I started to help real estate agents. And so that's where kind of that digital marketing and all those kind of skill set came to me. And it was a bonus because this brokerage happened to be one of those that that you get to benefit off of from helping other people, changing other people's lives, in turn helping yourself as well, and and challenging yourself because now you're not working with, uh, you know, individual 
and, and personal brands and entrepreneurs, but now uh, you can do it at scale. I started to teach inside EXP University. I started to do a lot of level up and online te uh, trainings and YouTube videos and, and it kind of exploded from there for me and I, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you really think about it, attention is a, is a currency for wealthy people, because if you don't have enough attention, you cannot become wealthy because how do wealthy people become wealthy? They help a lot of people get what they want. They provide services for the community. They solve problems. They create benefits for people where they're saving their time, money or emotion. And they need a large volume of people with a large bank account collectively to be able to create wealth. So what are they all trying to do in a the business? They're trying to create attention. But traditionally, it's always a battle of time and money. So if you go back to before the internet, what were people doing? Direct mail, billboards, door-to-door -door marketing, very expensive. So the cost was high and then the time was high. But now because of social media, we can drop costs substantially lower and do things a lot quicker, but also have a higher scalability and uh, duplicatable component to it. Meaning you can put one YouTube video on the internet and get a hundred thousand, a million or millions of views with it. So that never existed before. So this is why if you guys are still focusing mostly on, you know, traditional strategies, you really need to start moving your mindset towards how do I leverage? How do I scale? How do I do things that are more duplicatable with my, um, with my marketing strategies, but also things that are reactive, meaning that I put it out there and I don't have time to maintain it, but people are coming to me. And that's really what social media does. Now, you, you're an expert at this. So let's kind of talk about, you know, the mindset of someone that's just getting into this, that they're, they're, they're a little bit overwhelmed. What's a good starting uh, spot if they're going to just now get going to social media and they're in the real estate space or really any business owner? How would you advise them to get going? Which platforms? you know, kind of just from the, from the beginner level on up. And then we're going to work through some more advanced kind of understandings and uh, kind of go into de detail on some of the other things. Yeah, I love this because even when I first got started, I, I kind of started seeing myself as a, a problem solver and kind of also an innovator and so taking and just being of service to people, right? So to me, when I started asking a lot of questions back at people, so even through KB Core platform, right, just do using that as an example, people come to me and say, hey, I want this or I want, can you create this campaign for me inside KB Core? And my first question is, what's wrong with the ones that's available through inside real estate? They were created by professionals and marketing professionals. So, and my questions I would start to ask them is, what do you want out of it? What kind of results are you looking for? Who are you looking to to target? What and 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 what what is your role in this? And that's and it gave me a lot of insights as to their fears. Really, a lot of the things that you and you and I talk about too is like a lot of the fears started to come, and that's where they started to come to people like us to help them with something. And so for me, is instead of taking advantage of of what they're struggling with, for me it was kind of stepping back and be like, how could I be of service to you, and completely change your business and help you grow your business, but where you are right now and, and kind of going with not what you may need, you know, not what you want help with, but what you may need for your business. And that's kind of kind of where my ideology came from. And um, and even when we created this platform called Kurobi Social, it was it's a social media content platform, right? It's a social media marketing. And it is, and same thing with that, when people come to it, you know, a lot of my agents, you know, we have this amazing training uh, through Mike Sherrard, you know, our team partner here at EXP, and he has this amazing training. And a lot of our agents would take them and some people just go off a bit and they got it. And there's a lot of other agents who go into it too much. They take the training and they just still stuck with it because they're mm -hmm. not putting trust in action and starting to, to actually believe in themselves, put aside their fear and be like, okay, just start creating content. You have the content, you're the content. And, and I realized that, a lot of my agents would come to me and say, hey, I'm struggling with this. I can't post this. So I'm not sure what to post. And I'm spending two to three hours scrolling other real estate agents account, figuring out what to post. Or do you think this is a good post? And I realized, OK, whoa, uh, this still, still seem to be an issue here. So how do I how can me and my business partner, Jacob, like how can we work together to provide services for them in a way that I could do it because it's second nature to me, right? Like creating social media content. I can write them. I don't need to use chat GPT. I can write content, copy. I do it for me still to this day because I enjoy it. It's something that I, I love doing. I could do it for anyone's account in a heartbeat. However, uh, not everyone can do that because, you know, they didn't work in 10 years doing this, right? It's not a second easy skill that comes their way, right? Second nature to them. So for me, how do I do that instead of one-on-one, -on -one, but at scale? And so that's kind of where this platform came to be. And so if you are someone starting off, kind of going back to your question, if you're someone starting off and wanting to take advantage of, of social media, real estate, um, and in terms of even just 
start to not just open up account, but think about where you want to take your account to be is, is go back to yourself, ask yourself questions about, you know, what are your goals? What are your business goals? Who are you looking to connect with? You know, where are your audience, right? A lot of people don't think about that. They're like, oh, everyone's on Instagram. So I'm going to create an Instagram account. But what about Pinterest? If you are, I know real estate agents who have interior background. Why do you not have a Pinterest account? Why do you not have a YouTube account? And so a lot of times we let assumptions and often what other people are doing influence our actions. And so it's really important that we ask a lot of, we ask a lot of in-depth question when we're taking on people's uh, social media uh, portfolio and how we're trying to help them. And the reason why we do that is to help them. And sometimes we're like, oh, you guys are asking a lot of questions. And I'm like, yes, because I want to better understand you so I can be of service to you, not to the way the 20 other agents that I can close my eyes and post for, but I want to truly help you and reach your audience and your market because it does work because I'm going to be promoting you and your market and you're the area that you're serving to a certain type of audience group. So it's very important um, that we ask all these questions. So a couple of things, if you are a real estate agent kind of jumping into uh, creating a social media account, you know, a couple of things you want to ask yourself is where do I want to be? You know, what my capacity, how much content can I post on a weekly basis or how many, how much time do I have allocated for this? And what's my skill set? And and don't think and, and look at where you are in that current point of time, right? And sometimes there are a lot of tools like Canva and now the, you know, the AI kind of blowing up, even though it's been around for a little bit, but it's come to the forefront for a lot of people because a lot of these systems and softwares are making it really easy for people to do work. So you don't need to have any particular skills that you can do this yourself. So how do you do that? It's really a mindset shift, right? For me, a couple of, you know, when you're in that immediate phase of looking at your goals, think a couple of things you want to do is kind of distill fear. For me, I find that a lot of people, even with KB Core, a platform, oh, I'm overwhelmed or it looks confusing. It's yeah, because if you keep thinking that, then you're going to create more of it, right? So these systems were built for you to give it direction. So you're in full control here. And one of the quotes that I was sharing today, I was doing a training for EXP universities and I was telling people, you know, systems run businesses but people run the systems. Isn't that amazing? So you're in full control here. So if these systems, right. if you were to, if you, you know, Facebook, I may use it differently than you would because I understand my business and I know how to use it. So a lot of people come to me and say, oh, this CRM is not good. This one's better. And I, or I'm having a hard time with KV Core. KV Core is not good. And I said, no, I don't think you understand your business enough or you would know how to leverage it properly. And yeah. so that's kind of the ideology I come from is that just understand yourself where you are. And the reason why I bring up capacity is because everyone wants to open up seven different social media accounts. And so it's not about opening up seven social media accounts and posting once a month. Maybe what if you open one account and you post seven times a day, seven times a week, and now you completely change the landscape of your awareness. And I think, and 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 Mike Sherrard, our team, he, you know, our team partner, he's a great example of someone who paved the way in that concept. You know, if you're good at YouTube and yeah, you're not great at it, the first video that you do keep at it until you become, uh, uh, you know, proficient with it or you're good with it. If I, when I came to EXP, KB Core to me, it, I've never, you know, I've heard of it before, but I've never been in it. I've never had access to it before. But all I know is I worked in CRM. I, I know marketing really well. I, I, I know how to write, you know, landing pages. I know digital marketing really well. It's the same principle. That's why I was doing, you know, I, I teach marketing, by the way. I don't know if you know this, Connor. So I'm a, I'm a digital marketing uh, instructor for a college. And the reason why, and you could put me in any industry, Connor, and I can pull up a, a strategy, a marketing plan for you. It's because it's the principles that don't change, right? You can, and, and you can ask the same questions to different audiences, different product or 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 a service, and, and you can create a marketing plan. It's, it's how good your questions are. And the same thing with the way that we bring on agents to our group, right? It's not about me thinking EXP is right for you. No, 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 I'm gonna ask you the questions to make sure if EXP is right for you and if you're right for EXP. Um, so it's kind of, that's kind of where I start off with just figure out who you are and what capacity, what time do you have? Do you have budget? Maybe can you outsource this to people? We're a big proponent of this, right? If there's a point where you have budget and you can outsource this and let's go and do that, right? Because now someone could do it for you at a fraction of time with much, much less of the cost than you are doing because you are, you know, at a certain rate, right? Because you could be out there closing the deal. So that's kind of where I come from. And then the other thing is, once you have all those questions answered, 
everything else is super easy because now you know how much time you have, you know exactly who you're going after, you know your market, you know your skill set. And 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 that fears are distilled because you have knowledge, right? The more information you have, the fear comes down. So to me, that's kind of the way that I we approach it with a lot of our clients and kind of the questions where it's all about asking a lot of questions to them. And I recommend that you would do the same as as a, as a client. Yeah, I mean, it's so important to guys, I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit. So this is for any type of sales in general, especially for service businesses or when we're working with other people. You cannot just get into a sales presentation without having a bunch of questions up front. So you need to know who the person is. So you need so you know what to what to say and how to go through the conversation. Otherwise, your sales presentation is not is basically just for the generic marketplace. You're not specializing. What if someone has 20 years in the business or brand new in the business? So questions, uh, if you really want to look at like the secret to sales on the front side, it's questions to gather data to figure out how to have a strategy to go through the conversation. And then as you're going through the conversation, all you're trying to do to convert in sales is to sell the future. So we're painting the picture of the future that we're moving towards that for in the present, the conversation we're having, we can show them how they're going to save time, money, or emotion, meaning increase their, their income, decrease their time and have more time or have better positive emotions or negative emotions, which is really what creates a savings in the future for someone. And that's what they're going to buy. So they're, they're buying the future reduction of pain, suffering, time or increasing of income. But we do this by gathering the data up front and then applying that to conversation to paint the picture of the future of those three benefits. Now, fear is kind of like the pre-trimmer to the earthquake, which would be procrastination, I guess you could say. So fear holds people back, especially on social media. Now, when, what, what do you think as far as you have all these clients coming to, where, where's their fear? Is it they're going to get on social media, they're going to lose money and time? Or is it that they're going to not worry about the loss, but they're more concerned about they're going to embarrass themselves? And what are people going to think? Or do they think that they just, are there, is there fear that they're not, not enough and they're not capable of doing it or is it probably a combination of all of those but what do you see is the number one thing that uh, holds people back is it fear of loss meaning money or time they can't perform or they're going to be embarrassed in front of people that they don't want to be embarrassed in front of yeah i think a lot of people's fear from from working with a lot of my clients come from his own assumptions that they've created within themselves that they can't do it because you know so and so did it like one of my agents uh, not one of my agents and other agents at exp when we were at shareholder summit she said oh my gosh you're so good at social media and so good at kv core i wish like i i, I struggled with kv core i wish i had your brain and i said you you can you do you just you know, let's talk about that a little bit. Let's talk about your business. And so it's the ideology that people put on themselves, right? And expectations, right? The moment you walk into a space and you want it a certain way, and the moment it doesn't turn out that way, there you go. You immediately feel like, oh, maybe I'm not cut out for this. And and yeah. so kind of putting that away and letting those expectations go is huge. Because imagine if I come to EXP and tell myself, I'm going to be a millionaire today in, in 24 hours. That's not going to work. We all know that, right? So I think it's coming with that concept of, okay, how could this brokerage model help me? And I understand me and what I want out of, out of, out of life, but then what do I want out of the work that I'm going to do? And how could EXP be a vehicle for me to get there and, and, right. and, fi- and learn as much as you can about EXP. And I think, and I know it started to go on a little bit of a tangent here, but the reason why a lot of EXP agents, either they leave or they don't get committed because they never plugged in. They just never knew the potential. I know the value. I'm not going anywhere. The moment <laughs> I don't see a value, then I'm going to look into somewhere else, right? And that's when people start to fill it with fear. And a lot of times I notice people come with fears out of desperation, out of desperation for something to work, something to stick. And they think social media is doing it because they see all the success of, of, of people that are doing really well with whatever they're doing in social media. They think it's going to work for them too. Somehow this algorithm is going to work and somehow magically it's going to go viral. And don't get me wrong, sometime it can, right? We've seen videos that are random, and, and but it, it's done really well. But and there's some people that have consistently has to do it again and again, show up every single day and commit to a process for it to come to life. So I think we get a combination of that. And and the reason, it's funny, it's, a, it's actually a good time to bring this up. Uh, Jacob and I were, he's one of my agents in Houston who I brought to the company and he's one of my sponsored agents. And him, it's funny, he, uh, him and I were always frustrated talking about our own agents. When we, the moment we tell people when we bring them to our group is do not buy anything. Everything you need is here at our group and our upline. Like, I mean it. The people, our people purchase thousands of dollars, the product our upline has. You do not need to buy anything. If I hear you looking at another 
company or a vendor who's looking to optimize your YouTube channel, I'm going to go ballistic. So some of my uh, agents would come to us and would say, hey, what do you think of this person that emailed me about this lead source or that lead source? And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And so Jacob and I, are, uh, we started to really get a hold of that. And that's the first thing we tell people. The moment even I'm talking before we can onboard people, our first interview with people is the one amazing thing about our group is that you never have to look at another a source or a company. And that's why out of this frustration of all these other people, People who is not looking these companies that we all know this right around the world that uh, because they wanted to be you know they wanted to make money quick they started their own marketing companies and and they are these overnight success people and they're ripping people off and they're emptying people's pockets and my own agents have been a victim of this and so we created a marketing called Mift Media because we're so pissed off <laughs> of, of wanting to give honest honest services to people because I and that's why we ask a lot of questions it's, it's about you it's not and yes I have to pay my staff I have to pay myself and and that is is not the reason why I'm here to help you. I'm here to grow your business, whatever your goal is. And I'm going to try to make sure if I can be of service to that goal. And I think that intention is where a, a lot of how we approach things. But yeah, no, I, I love that you asked the questions about fear because I think that's why these companies exist is because of people's fear because they want to yep. be able to, but not to honestly distill their fear and to help them overcome that fear, to give them more fear because they're going to start losing more money. I had one of my agents who, uh, purchased a Google ad, actually a well-known Google ads company. And and he lost almost, it was a $15,000 he was supposed to pay and he lost almost $5,000 uh, out of that and not get nothing out of it. Um, and, and, you know, and they're doing this on a worldwide basis. And, and so Jacob and I actually in our Friday training, so we do for agents every week, we do this 12 o'clock training, Friday Connect. Um, we started to, you know, bring those kind of things like how do you, because I bought hundreds of ads buys for when I worked as a marketing consultant uh, for the government and when I worked privately. And this is one of my fortes is to purchase ads and, and run ads, work with companies and be careful. And you as a customer should be asking me questions. You should be asking me, you know, how long have I existed? How are you going to help me? Where did your expertise come from? Walk me through. How can I see the results? Where did they come from? Can I see reportings? Can I have access to my ad manager? Are you going to sell me the same leads you're selling all these other people? And, and, and look into companies. Don't just go off of one or two testimonials that anyone can write up. And don't get me wrong. They may be right. They may be wrong. And they might have helped one or two people. But are they going to be of help to you? And, 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 and one of the big things a lot of people make mistake on, and it sounds common sense, but you'd be, you'd be surprised is, paying companies up front, you know, you never have to pay anyone up front until they are of service to you and they, yeah. and a certain services have been, or, you know, some things have been rendered. Right. And, and maybe there's an agreement you can come to where you tell them, Hey, I'll pay 25% up front. And then I'm going to pay a certain percentage after a certain time period, you can have those negotiation, but you never pay anyone up front. And that's another big thing that, that I'm noticing happening. And again, I know kind of a little bit of off in the tangent, but it's to do with digital marketing. It is a big issue and it's to do with fear. So I just wanted to bring that yeah. up. No, it's really good and, and very important what we're going over here. So like also you need to think about the types of education out there because education, bad education expenses are one of the most in, one of the most common ways people go out of business. That's how I went into debt myself. I paid 35 grand to go through this ripoff training company and I didn't do the due diligence. She just uh, told you to, to do. And if I had, I probably wouldn't have gone through them. Now, this is the cool thing when you get to partner with Thermilla and myself and our group here is that we provide a lot of our training and courses and systems. Some of them are public, but a lot of them are not. They're training systems. They're internal just for the EXP agents in, in our in our groups. And what that means is we're creating these courses. We're creating these trainings for performance to get results because it's not just to sell on the internet quickly to someone. And no matter what happens after you buy it, we don't care, meaning we get our money and then you go out there and do zero deals. It doesn't affect us. We got our payments. So that's how most of these training companies are on the internet. You have a lot of companies that fly by night, create shady products that are very limited and are kind of like a shell and it's not what you expected, but they're sold as much more, but they're sold to make money for the person selling them. We're creating trainings inside our, our business to give to you guys to help you win in business, which is a complete difference. So if you're looking for real education, real training, that's one of the big reasons you want to reach out to uh, Thermella. Now, Let's go into this a little bit more in detail. So EXP, we've touched on a little bit, gives us a lot of big benefits. And one of them is that they give us KV Core. Now, KV Core integrates with a lot of the strategies that we're all needing to be doing as entrepreneurs and as agents with social media. So let's go into KV Core. 
kind of give a good understanding for people that are not familiar with KV Core, uh, exactly what it is. And let's go into some of the things that you're using at KV Core in conjunction with social media and some of the strategies that agents should be focused on right now in 2023. Yeah, absolutely. Great question. So EXP, obviously, you know, we are a global a virtual brokerage. So thinking about a technology, obviously, we come with so many technology, you know, as uh, access to technological uh softwares and systems is going to help you with your business. And KB Core happens to be one of the, a really good platform, but there's making rain. And this is something, a lead generation program that EXP, there's a staff department that oversees this. And so instead of you buying, paying for Google ads, through somebody else, KV uh, at EXP, there's a staff that's actually setting up your YouTube uh, Google Ads for you. They're doing all the reportings and giving it to you. The leads that you're paying for, you can look at them and they're coming to you into your KV core. So I love that EXP already has systems in place that integrates with CRMs that they're offering, which I love. And so KV core in a Kind of really in a nutshell, it's uh, it's a parent company is Inside Real Estate. They founded uh, KB Core and it's a platform. It is people think of it like CRM in terms of customer relationship management. And and when people think of customer relationship management, people think oh it's just a list of contact. It's kind of like an Excel but a little bit smarter. And that's where people stop at. But the beautiful thing about CRMs and what they're truly designed for is to help people attain clients to to optimize and maximize the relationship with clients to track their conversations their touch points. What's amazing about any CRMs, and I think that's why I always teach people about CRMs before I even dive into KV Core, is because CRMs, there's kind of four ways to look at it. The, the, the software, the application itself, and of course it comes in different ways, right? Different applications have different uh, features and, you know, follow-up boss is very primarily focuses on, let's say, drips and, you know, following up concepts, etc. KV Core is very much like all-in-one kind of concept. And so there are a lot of different uh, CRMs and they all work, they're all amazing. They all have their different features. But what's unique about these is that, that again, that technology and that infrastructure. And the other thing is your business goals. So any CRM, it's really your business and your objectives that you're really funneling into the CRM. I tell people to imagine the CRM, the customer relationship management as like a funnel, like an apparatus with, with the technology being one of the things that are inputted. Your, your uh, business goals, right? Your business policies, your procedures, how you run your business and, you know, whether you have social medias, whether you have lead generation source, like whatever that you're doing in your business, you're inputting that into the CRM. And then the people management, this is another one people completely disconnect from is that you can manage other agents on there. You can share leads with other agents you can manage your vas in there they can help you they can, there's just a really is a, a, an organizational structure to this that 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 system of hr can come into this as well and then the funnel kind of comes in and spits out the strategy that you're going after that long-term goal that visioning for your business is what the crm is helping you achieve so that's kind of like a visual that i tell people and and kb core it happens to be one of those crms that yes it's a smart crm it has a list of your contacts and each of your lead profile or your contact profile has all the information you need. You can track who they are, what journey that they're on, if they're a new lead, if they happen to be someone from a prospect, someone that you met potentially at an event or your sphere in your own network, or if it's a client that you're currently working with or if it's closed, if they're a buyer, seller, and you can group them according to if they're hot or cold, and you can save, filter them into a, a, into a bucket that you and however your business run. Again, that's why if you look at my smart CRM, if you go into it, and I've done so many training on this, I have it organized a little bit different because that's how I run my business I understand my business really well so you need to understand your business and how you work with your clients how you do follow-up etc you can do and 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 the system itself can track is a task management too right is what people miss out on is that yes it's the customer touch point relationship management but it's also task management you can put tasks when it's due who you can assign it to whomever put notes in there assign it to a particular contact so that you never miss a beat in your business and you can pick it up from wherever you left off of and then the other aspects is a uh, is lead engine. It has paid free lead generational tool just to build your database in a number of different ways using so many different technologies, multi-channel uh, uh, 
you know, integrated system. And on top of that, it also is a nurturing tool. So it doesn't just hang you, at, leave you uh, hanging with just bringing in contacts to your CRM. It's actually just monitoring the relationship with you, right? It's, you can keep track of, and it's doing it automatically too, right? You, there, obviously there's a point in time, real, real estate agents have to pick up the phone call. We have to meet them at a property and show them the, the property, but there's a lot of touch point that's needed before we get there to build our relationship, especially if the lead is very cold. So there's lots of drip campaigns. So these are automated communications that are that are built for a particular period of time for a particular audience group. And you just click to activate. And these are written by professionals at Inside Real Estate yeah. Marketing Professionals. And I'm actually an, an official, unofficial ambassador for KV Core um, for Inside Real Estate. I see, I work with the, the VP on a on a monthly basis, and I hear about insights and and updates that are coming. And I'm and and I I know the back end of the people that are kind of putting this together. And so that's why when people tell me, oh, um, you know, I I'm not I haven't really tried the drip campaigns. I I read it and it doesn't sound right to me. And I said, well, unless you have over uh, you know experience in marketing or you have a really good real estate business where you worked with a lot of uh, clients and close deals and you understand your business and how you communicate with your leads, that means you don't have the right to tell us if KV Core is going to work for you or not. Trust the yep. process, turn it on and start evaluating your business. And the last thing I want to mention is kind of relating to what you asked about social media is the, the website in IDX. We, you get a website when you come to EXP, your own a custom URL website, and you can customize it however you like. You can keep it really super basic with the template that they give you, which I do, trust me, and it's simple, it works, and, and it's to capture leads. So you can go ahead and do all those social media posts. You can go on YouTube and do videos, but how are you going to capture them? How are they going to call you? How do you know who's looking at your content? And the best way to do that while you sleep is to have a system like KV Core doing that work for you and automatically bring bringing people into your database and then nurturing for you um, on, on autopilot. So you see how comprehensive this platform is. Really, if you think about it, it's giving you like six arms to do all that work for you. So if you're like me and and you're you have other priorities and I have, and to me, that's why the moment I heard about KV Core, I immediately jumped to it. And then obviously I came with my own background in marketing. So I, I took it to the next level with just being passionate about this platform and it's because I had young children. I was actually had a newborn um, when I came to EXP. Um, so it was, it was to me, it was how, and I had my full-time job I was actually working for the government when I came to EXP. So I had so many things and I, I actually was just closing on one of our, our third or fourth property for our rental. So we were quite busy and I'm like, how do I, and then I was also closing deals. I had, I had clients. So how do I do all of this? And so I started to automate, I think maybe 70 to 80% of my business is automated. Yep. Man, KB Core is super powerful. I've seen people come over here and struggle for years and then they figure out KB Core and explodes their business overnight. I mean, when you really think about it, it's, it's ma major components, lead generation system, CRM, contact validation system, follow-up system, and, and then all the other things that uh, Tharmel is saying there. But this is why people are paying so much out of pocket to get this. Now, if you've not been looking to KB Core, you can get this anywhere. It's not an EXP product. It's just given to you through EXP small monthly fee. Now, what, what's the expense of that out there right now, Tharmel, if you go get KB Core on the internet? Um, yeah, it's I eight to 10,000 a year, but it depends on if you're part of a group, a team, if you're part of a brokerage. And there are a lot of other brokerage now because of the wave of what EXP agents are doing with uh, with KB Core and, and people like us doing content. I, To be honest, a lot of my clients are like Remax and all these people that are paying out of their pocket. And, it, and it's really unfortunate. Like people, I don't think understand, they think KB Core is going to make them successful. And it's and and KB Core will, but and I think they, they think oh if I run this one ad it's gonna work and KB Core is your right. business. I the one thing and you probably see me talk about this, Connor. Think of KB Core or any CRM, but the right it's important to find the right CRM, right? Because they're the backbone of your of your business. So if I were to remove your spine, you will collapse, right? So think of it like it's holding your business all together from head to toe. So that's why that's why it's so important to to. To think about the moment you come to exp take a kb core training implement your business import those contacts yes even the people that are in in your life your network your sphere get with permission with consent get them into kb core and start to nurture them because that's a, a solid business foundation and we all know so many agents rock stars at exp that are doing specifically and only running their business with kb core not buying ads through you know abc company 
you know, why is that company they're only specifically using KB Core and running full business through KB Core? Because trust me, it works. And and because they understand the the power that it comes with. Yeah. So, so cave core is going to be one of those things that, you know, you can spin your wheels and waste a lot of time trying to figure it out. Or if you have someone just say, here's A, B, C, or do this, do this, do this, you can get caught up speed right away. So that's kind of what you do for a lot of your agents. So how does, how does that work? So let's say, you know, an agent has no interest in coming to EXP to work with you to get all your training and coaching for free. Um, you, you, you have a company that does this. It's Karuvi. Yeah. Right? Kind of okay. a little bit. There are two things. So I have a course uh, called KB Core Lead Generation Course. Um, it's a it's a sexy title, but it really is. It helps you set up your KB Core, sets your KB Core up when you go through. It says over seventy videos, and I show them to you step by step. And there's strategy that comes with it. Like literally, maybe sixty percent is full of marketing strategies. Let's. I'll give you an example. So KB Core Inside Real Estate has a lot of amazing trainings. Um, so if you were to create a landing page using their training, it's great. But now you're probably confused as okay what kind of campaign should i be doing for whom because you can make hundreds of campaigns there's hundreds of different ways you can target them for your audience right so i give you those strategies i actually have a whole series on this on youtube where i i dive into this there uh the three-part series i talk about landing pages like how to create them and you know what kind of campaigns to run and then how to promote them this is the hard part that people struggle with right it's great to have a sexy landing page, but how do you get to get it out to people so that you have eyes on them and drive traffic and capture leads? So it's great. People spend so much money creating beautiful landing pages, but they never get out to anybody. So that's what yeah. I teach. And so I have a 70 uh, video course. And then the other course I recently created a couple of months back is a DIY setup course. And uh, we all know this. There are, even my own agents have spent hundreds of dollars having other people set up their KB core and they still never used it. Um, and that was a problem for me. Like me, I want to be a problem solver. I want to help people. So when you come to my group, the first thing I do is I give, we give you access to everything. Obviously, Groovy, our, our KB Core, my KB Core courses. And, and it's a step-by-step, -step, every single video. There are about 30 videos, and they're short, like three minutes, five minutes, four minutes video that are telling you exactly. First, it shows you going to enterprise and activate and opt into KB Core. Remember, when you come to EXP, you get your own. You tell uh, Inside Real Estate or KB Core, um, our, our admin team, that you want KB Core, and they will create create a profile for you, a template for you to go and, and make it your own. And that's what it is. And the setting up is really you updating you and customizing it, customizing it for you and your business. And that's what I show you step by step. So that's kind of the, 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 the help that I do. So if you're outside of our group, um, there's a fee to it and you can purchase it and do it on your own. And more recently, I started doing, I realized that some people are just not video people. They just don't like to learn from videos and, and they get confused or in between they have questions. So what I've started to do is, is live trainings that people can book and obviously live training mean that means I have to be available um, and so I, they can go book it into my calendar but there are particular topics and 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 they have an hour or two hours depending on the topic because I know how long it'll take me to teach them but then I give them a little bit of time for them to ask me questions and if you're a team or if you're a brokerage and if you guys have uh, social media it is your responsibility as a broker to make sure every single agent of yours is is really tapping into your value, including KV Core that you got for them. So do the training and you know, many of your agents and, and, and brokers know this. They, they're like, yeah, 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 I'll use KV Core and they kind of use it, they don't. They need to be in it every single day. And trust me, the moment they're in it, they're gonna see KV Core showing them that so-and-so lead is coming in, so-and-so lead looked at this property, so-and-so lead text us. I don't know about you, those are activities and that get me excited because that means my business is moving, right? That my business, yeah. there's, there's insights and those are the kind of insights and engagement that you want and that's what i kind of um have available for people yes you know in a long yep. <laughs> in a long-winded answer i mean i don't know so, i mean cave Core. this is the thing with anything like and you hear it with like goal setting you hear it with uh you know reading books and anything people pick up a book read five pages and put it on the, on the shelf people say i'm going to do goal setting at the beginning of the year they write their goals down for half a day and then they never look at them again so anything that you guys dabble in is not going to work anything you go all in is going to work so the way, I, the way I see this is you guys have maybe like three different options that you could you could continue on getting help from Thormella. So I think you've done a great job on the on the show here today, uh, you know, kind of illustrating your expertise in this. But obviously in a short podcast, less than an hour, you can't really go into too much detail. So you have a YouTube channel that you have all your free content on. So I'm going to give you the let you give you a chance to talk about that here a second. Mm -hmm. So you have the free option to go and watch her on her social media. She's giving a lot of great content out. But then you have two options to get all her full, full services. They're one 
you can partner with her at EXP. It's a you know, small monthly fee to EXP. You don't even pay Tharmela and you get all this for free. Or if you want to uh, you know, not move to the company and be a direct partner of hers, what would the expense be or how much would it be kind of to get all these services or something like that for the average agent if they were to hire you outside uh, from being your partner? Yeah. So the Kruvi platform is $49 a month. It's a subscription, or you can pay for the rest of the year for $4.99. Or if you want to have us do it for you, then obviously we have staff doing it for you. And they do that. This is like next level. They optimize. They do. You give them raw content and, and they take it from there. You don't even have to tell them what to post. They know the strategy. We know exactly what you need because we have, like I said, we ask you a lot of questions up front to make sure that we're, uh, we're how you are as an agent. We're providing service to you. So your content never looks like another content, another agent's content. And then that's, that's that's the groovy social media content platform, social media marketing, and then KB Core platform. That's some of the trainings that I do. And like I said, you can buy it for $3.99. And the thing with this course is too, is that if you buy it right now, you have access to all those 70 videos, but guess what? Every couple of months when KB Core changes something or new something, new feature that comes in, I'm gonna create a video and add to it and you don't have to pay anything extra to it. So it's kind of grandfathered, so which is nice. And so that's that fee. And then on top of that, the, the DIY is like 99 dollars a month which is nothing it's like 30 videos you get and get your kb core set up instead of paying three four hundred dollars usd to somebody to set up your kb core and you never learn how kb core works so this is a kind of like a hand holding um and then i have all my trainings which ranges from oh my goodness like hundred dollars to to about 600 but these are in-person trainings that i do uh per agent and and i've done it for teams and 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 um and groups here at exp and i can do it for outside so however you want to kind of go about it i'm here to help you and we kind of talk about anything that you need help with that's kind of where i come from is is, is that if you know how to navigate kb core okay great we don't have to do that maybe if you're struggling with creating you know ads and and running a, having a proper system in place then maybe i can come in and help you with that so that's kind of um, yeah. some of the services that we have available okay cool cool yeah i mean so that you know this is a, it's a great price for what you're giving people so it's, it's a benefit just to do this in general but there's a bigger benefit if say if you partner with armella you have access to Tharmela, right? She's now working with you as a partner who's in, she's incentivized to help you become successful because she ties herself to the income stream of your success with her sharing in it. And then also you tie that to myself and then Mike Sherrard and all our other partners and you get all our coaching on social media, investing, you know, communication, all our masterminds and all this. So if you want to have a conversation with Armella, myself or Mike about coming to work with us, guys, uh, I'm going to put the uh, put all that contact information below. Now, Tharmela, Give your YouTube channel out. I'll, I'll put the link below as well for that. Um, and tell them kind of what's, what you're putting on there. So you're putting quite a bit of um, content yeah. videos on there for, for KB Core and all that already. And this is kind of a good way for you all to check out a little bit more of her uh, stuff and see kind of what she can do to help you. But um, give an idea of, you know, what's the main uh, focus of that channel and then what, what's that channel's name? Yeah, the channel, you can look it up. It's just, it's my name and it's primarily made for real estate agents. And I talk about business systems, lead generation, real estate marketing, and there's a whole playlist just on KB Core. It is very much of a, a tutorial based channel where a lot of it is you're seeing me in action, showing you how to do things. And you'd be surprised. A lot of the content was created from people asking me questions about them being confused about certain things. And and that's something that I always tell people in, in our trainings, even when I do EXP university training is that, hey, if you're EXP and you're struggling with KB Core in a particular way that that's content for me your problems are my content so tell me and i'll create them and it becomes your your kind of your saving grace for that matter so it kind of works kind of both ways you help me and i help you and so that's kind of where a lot of those content came from and then you'll see a lot of other content where i even had a whole series about being uh being someone who was on mat leave getting her license you know having a newborn and and having starting number of different jobs and having a partner like josh and i are domestic team at exp and we work together and and how we have a strong relationship we're in investors and that how do you brand yourself as a team as a, as a husband and wife team so that's some of the content I talk about there um, and I also bring on a lot of my own agents and I interview them because I, I love EXP and I love what it's done for me and my agents so I try to bring them and and kind of share their story and why they chose EXP their successes and and if they if anybody wants to partner with them in their local because they have their own that's the best part about this company is that when people are so good at what they are they're always there is collaborate and share. So I like to bring their, their kind of value up front. And then now they get access to my content, Mike's content, your content and our upline. And now they get access to their content too. So mm -hmm. um, I try to share that on there as well. And then, and the beautiful part about all of this is, and I also interview other people from EXP on there. I've interviewed you, Connor, our, our upline, Michael Valdez, someone from like EXP Global. 
um, and, and different people at, at EXP, like healthcare. So try to get the right information about our model because it is complex and, and it's not a five minute quick video that you, you tell people about because our company, and I, I say this so many times and I'll say it again, you can do as little as you like at EXP as much as you like. And that's what I love about that's this right. company. <laughs> well, uh, I'm excited to see what you do. I'm, uh, you know, grateful to be and thankful to be friends and partners with you. You know, uh, the rate you're going, you're going to get to 100 agents pretty quickly. But um, let me see. I had someone I was going to ask you just now, and then just slipped my mind. But um, what I want to leave you I'll with, be at guys, Con, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in person. I think that's what it, this company yeah. is. So yeah. people ask me like, how do you? It's so you know when you post about it, you post about it like you know all these people all these years, and I'm like, I do. I see them online daily, but it's completely different when you see them in person because you felt like there's a, an established relationship already. So it, it's just amazing. And then and then it's not even your group, right? I'm talking about when I went to Shareholder Summit and the amount of agents I met. At EXP from the amount of different states and province, like blew my mind, the amount of contacts I walked away with. So, yeah. and every time I went to somebody, I'm like, oh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube. And now I have following for my own company supporting me. Game changer. Yep. I remember what I was going to say. Uh, so if you guys are listening to this anywhere in the world, so EXP is in all 50 states. And I know Thermel is up in Canada, but you can still partner with her directly uh, from anywhere in the US, all 50 states, all the Canadian provinces. And then you have, I think we're in what now, 20 three or four countries. Four, 24 I'm countries. Adding, yeah. adding so many countries so fast. But uh, yeah, as long as you're in where EXP operates within, as long as you hold a real estate license, you can partner with Armella, pay EXP the monthly fee, and then you can get access to working with her and all this that she's talking about uh, direct to you for no expense, which is pretty cool. Completely now, free. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So is there any last thing you want to leave as a, a farewell message or words of advice? If no, to... I, I just wanted to say if you are a real estate agent, you love reading books. I also have a book club. Even if you don't want to join the book club, but you just want to know what type of books we're reading. If you look up a book club for realtors or book club for real estate agents on Facebook, you'll see me as an admin to them. And then I have all the books we've read and pinned to the top read them, join them, doesn't matter where you are. Um, and I invite all of VXP agents to join that book club too and kind of inspired. I think for me, one kind of tip of advice I leave you with is be mindful of the people that you are surrounded by, right? And, and the information that you're surrounded by and, um, and try to be kind of be here where you are. And I think um, a lot of us are so concentrated on what is uncertain, which is the future and, and what we have no control over, which is our past and kind of be here and kind of trust yourself Put aside fear, because if you share your fears with other people, they will monetize from that and it's not going to help you. It's going to help them. So be and join people who are honest, who's going to truly help you people who. And that's what I love about this is that I have actually more agents in the States than I do in Canada is because it tells you that it's never about local. Right. It tells you that the, this digital space that we created through EXP works and that it builds long lasting relationships and I can truly be of service to other people and it doesn't matter the bro uh, the, the the boundaries of where I am so I think um, thank you for first bringing me to this to, to onto this uh, podcast Connor uh, love being in in partnership with you and on and, and all of our team partners are amazing and and I think that's that's what it is right it's testament to the work that I'm doing for the long mm -hmm. is that I've been doing as much as I want to as little as I want to is because we can that's the part about this company is, is customizable I know one of my agents that joined me she asked me are, are you like so how, do, how does sponsorship work are you gonna like boss me around and I'm like no you actually don't have to hear from me if you don't want to like that's how amazing it is or she's like wow like yeah. so I can contact you anytime I want I'm like yeah so you're not gonna bill me no and and so you can help me grow my business and I can make yes yes and the best part yeah. is none of it is coming out of your pocket yeah and that's powerful to understand what you just said there because traditionally you're paying to get access to someone here, you know, she's willing to help. So, you know, she's not your broker. Uh, she's not going to be your, your broker or your boss. She's going to be your partner, hopefully your friend. And it's a big difference when, you know, you're thinking about the mindset, the emotions and how you're going to operate in your business and how you're going to interact and work with your partners because nobody wants a boss. And that's not no. what you're going to get. You know, <laughs> You just reminded me of this Napoleon Hill quote where he said that when you come to a certain half point in your life, you realize that life is actually a do-it-yourself project. And that's kind of how I see EXP as because you, EXP gives you all of the resources, but you're in charge. Whether you succeed, whether you don't succeed, whether you make excuses, that's all on you. How easy it is that if it's on me and if it's not dependent on anybody else, then that's amazing that I get to create my own. I don't have to blame it on anyone. So, And that's the most amazing part is that you have full 
control of your business here. Where if you go to another brokerage, I had an agent that joined us a couple of couple of months ago, and he told me at his brokerage that well, he was at four different brokerages before he came to us. And one of the last brokerage he was with, um, they he said the broker was amazing, you know, great relationship, and they brought him on. And when he needed help, and he's like, I haven't had any deals, and I'm struggling, and I've been at all these brokerages, and I haven't done any deal. Can you help me? And he says, When you get a lead, I'll help you. And I'm like. No, but like, can you help me get a lead? You know, and it's like, whoa. And so yeah. that's that's the problem. Like, look at me. I came here to just put my license, do my investment deals, maybe close a deal here and there. And then I came here and found a completely different business for my skill set. And 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 I do so many things here. And and I'm helping the company in the process. And I'm teaching other agents who are not even in my downline because I want to. So that's kind of the, the 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 model, the vehicle that you want to be at, and so and I love when Napoleon Hill said that it's, it's a do-it-yourself project, and kind of come back in, coming back to it, it's that's how I look at EXP as it's a do-it-yourself project, and you know, and you can build the the business that you're looking for here. Yep, you heard it, guys. We'll wrap it up with that. It's all on you. So get on it. Go out there, get the books, study it, get KV Core, figure out how to do it. If you don't want to figure out how to do it on your own. You can work with Armella. Reach out to Armella. And if you want to meet us on Zoom, guys, we'll have a conversation with you guys. But other than that, thank you for sharing your uh, understanding of KV Core with us and coming on the show today. I know your time's not free, so I appreciate you doing so, Armella. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. And you guys all have a blessed day. See you when I see you. Woo!